I'm here at VITU in Geneva, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Bilal Jamusi, Chief of the Study Groups in the ITU Standardization Sector. Bilal, thank you very much for joining us today, and uh, welcome. Thank you very much for having me. So we're here at the final meeting of the Digital Financial Services uh, Focus Group. Um, can you please explain to our, our viewers uh, how this uh, focus group came to be and what are s some of the major uh, achievements and outcomes of the group? Yeah, uh, sure. I mean, uh, about uh, almost three years ago now, February 2014, um, Sasha Polverini and uh, Jason Lamb from the Gates Foundation, uh, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, came to visit the ITU and uh, wanted to explore opportunities for work on digital financial services uh, because the platform for the digital financial services is an ICT and a telecom operators network mostly um, and wanted to see how we can partner on this, uh, on this work. So uh, we invited them to join the ITU as a sector member and to make a contribution to, uh, to propose a study uh, of, the, uh, of the work on the focus group on digital financial services. And uh, that's exactly what they did, and uh, they became a member of the ITU. Uh, they presented a contribution to the uh, TSAG, the Telecom Standards Advisory Group, which immediately agreed to set up a new focus group in June 2014 on digital financial services with very clear terms of reference um, to really bring the two uh, sectors, the financial sector and the telecom sector, into an open multi-stakeholder environment uh, where the dialogue can happen on uh, all aspects of digital financial services, from the regulatory side, from the technology side, from the standard side. Um, and, and so after two years now, uh, two and a half years of the, uh, of the inception and two years of actual work of the study group, um, we're very uh, pleased to see the uh, energy that went into the group and the output uh, that they had. Uh, it's quite um, active, uh, this, this focus group. It had seven meetings, three in the ITU headquarters in Geneva, two in the World Bank uh, headquarters in, in Washington, D.C., and two other meetings, one in Asia and one in Africa, where most of the target countries where we're trying to provide this financial inclusion are. And so it, it was really uh, quite a diverse group. Uh, with uh, Now we have a mailing list of more than 500, almost four, 500 people, uh, 250 of which are not members of the ITU, which shows the openness and uh, the opportunity, the unique opportunity in bringing experts who are not traditionally working in the telecom sector to dialogue with the telecom sector, both from a vendor perspective and operator perspective and telecom regulator perspective. Um, and the output, uh, the result of this two-year uh, effort is, uh, is quite rich, uh, 27 technical reports, uh, in diverse areas from uh, consumer protection to uh, the ecosystem, to the interoperability, to uh, the need for authentication, key performance indicators of quality of service, uh, really laying the ground from both a technology and regulatory uh, framework with all the players around the table, uh, which makes this focus group quite unique. Uh, there is no other international platform that is open in this sense and, and that was able to bring all the stakeholders and all the partners to the table. Mm. And, you know, with uh, digital financial services, uh, one of the main goals is inclusion. Can you please explain the role ITU has played with, uh, you know, bridging the financial gap inclusion, if you will? Yeah, uh, the, the financial inclusion, I mean, th this effort in the focus group uh, and the discussion on financial services uh, before the focus group was not really happening in the ITU. And as a result of this uh, focus group activity, uh, this year in November, our World Telecom Standards Assembly agreed on a new resolution uh, to promote the use of ICTs for digital financial inclusion. Uh, this is a first resolution of this kind. It was approved by the 193 member states, which gives uh, um, a prominence and uh, visibility to the role that both uh, telecom sector and financial sector players uh, have to, to, to play in order to promote uh, the use of financial inclusion uh, and the use of ICTs for financial inclusion. Um, because of this focus group, we also signed an MOU with the uh, Alliance for Financial Inclusion, which is an organization that brings all the central bankers together. And so now we, th th we have this collaboration agreement with, uh, with AFI, uh, and it's, we're in constant dialogue as a, as a real uh, partner and a, and, a, and a stakeholder in this focus group. Um, so this uh, activity raised the bar in terms of awareness, 
um, the engagement of the experts in the ITU. It brought new experts to the ITU that are not traditionally playing in, uh, in the telecom sector and uh, started to, uh, you know, these 27 reports are now migrating and tran uh, being transferred to the study groups. Uh, and uh, the, uh, the ITUT study groups are the ones that issue the international uh, recommendations with a capital R um, that are essentially the international standards or international guidelines. Um, and we, we see quite a rich and diverse output from the focus group uh, with respect to economic policy and regulatory issues, uh, with respect to the quality of service of the network and the quality of experience of the user, uh, with respect to the security of the transactions, um, and, uh, and so on and so forth. So uh, it really created a, a number of seed uh, uh, of, of new work that is now uh, taking advantage of the work that was done in the focus group and uh, starting to become a uh, work item in the various study groups of the ITUT. So there's a lot of important uh, work that's taken place in this focus group, but it, it's coming to an end. Um, wh what are some of the next steps uh, for, for the focus group in the next three to four years, let's say? Well, uh, the, the main element here is that because we managed through this focus group to create a new and unique group of stakeholders, not to lose the momentum and to maintain this group of experts together. And so we have been in discussions with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, the World Bank, AFI, and other partners to see how we can put in place a uh, pro project or program or, a, or, a, or an, uh, an activity to maintain this momentum and take all the learning and the recommendations from this focus group and implement them in target countries, uh, which will really bring the benefit, the ultimate benefit to having more transactions uh, in the digital space, uh, less cash, more uh, digital financial transactions, uh, which will be more reachable to the poor. Uh, you know, out of the two billion that don't have a bank today, 1.7 billion have a mobile phone. Mm -hmm. And so that's why the ITU is a key partner in this uh, dialogue. And now with the recommendations of the focus group, we can go out in the various countries and implement these recommendations and, and uh, really increase the financial inclusion. Yeah. Okay, Bilal, I'd like to thank you very much indeed for your time and uh, wish you a successful uh, final meeting and uh, workshop uh, during the next few days. Thank, thank you. you very much.